It's around the new moon phase at the moment, which means a lot of phosphorus in the water at times, especially in deep water. You've got something that flashes a little bit green, a bit of colour, and a bait can sometimes get fish attracted pretty quickly. And my reasoning today is I'm fishing in some deep water around that new moon and I've got some of the Mustad flasher rigs on. Nice little glow bead and as well as a little bit of flashy colour. I've got a double hookup happening at the moment. It's about to get ugly. It's a big bucket mouth pearly. Pearl perch are a bit of a favourite for a lot of offshore anglers up and down New South Wales and Queensland coasts. This guy will be just touching legal. But they, um, they love a well presented bait. A wonderful table fare. I reckon there's quite possibly a few bigger ones down there. There you go. There's our mustard flashery. day of many seasons at the moment. I think I'm fishing in Victoria the way this cloud comes across, bit of rain, shower and then the sun's out warming up again but whatever the weather's doing the fish are falling for our mustard rigs. This one's grabbed a little penetrator rig with a pilly drifting out the back of the boat. Started adding a little bit of burley out the back of the boat just to try and see if we can bring a few fish to us and then floating that pilly on the penetrator rig through the burley trail which is a good, good way to get Fish coming up a burly trail to think that that's the bit they want, and that's exactly what's happened here. Got a fish that's come along with There we go, look at that. Nice. Lovely. The estuary caught. Oh. There's a mouth and head only a mother could love. It's the the estuary cod, a lot of our reef systems have got nice species of cod on them that grow to very big sizes. I'm a bit of a fan of the cod, I don't actually like catching them too much bigger than this because you can do them a bit of harm. So this guy's a good size for eating if you are in the market for a good feed of fresh fish. Bigger than this, I like to let them go and bigger, bigger than that you find a lot of states have laws protecting them but he's made to eat stuff. In this case he sucked in a pilly unfortunately lined with a mustard penetrator rig. I'm fishing today using two approaches. I've got two rods in work at the same time and the first rod is used to fish a mustad two hook snapper rig. What I'm doing with that is I'm rigging whole pillies, chucking them out behind the boat and letting them float down nice and slowly, see if I can pick up some of those fish which might be feeding slightly higher up. At the same time, I've got my other rod working the two hook penetrator flasher rig. Now that's getting down to the bottom with a bit of a heavier sinker. I'm putting bait on it and I'm allowing that nice little flashy rig with the glow bead on it to attract some of those things which might be sitting down deeper. Quite nice and easy when you are fishing on your own to fish a two rod approach as long as you try and mix approaches which will work nice and easily. I've got a nice light spin rod with a, a, a sinker which is weighting my flasher rig and getting it down to the bottom. At the same time I've got a rod sitting up in my rod holder with a full pilchard on it which is thrown out the back and it's slowly just drifting away doing its own thing. To help the whole process out I've got my little burly trail going so I've got my pilchards there and I'm chopping them up into nice cubes and letting those slowly sift out the back of the boat as well. It allows me to then fish right down on the bottom as well as try and see if I can get fish into a burly trail and get them on that floating rig. Yep. Today I'm putting squid onto our mustad flasher rig. I think that nice tentacly drifty, drifty type movement you get with a squid really matches the movement that you get out of these flasher rigs so I think it's a lovely bait to use. It's also quite nice and hardy so it'll stay on and it's a nice simple process. I'm using these 8 setup and on this rig I'll just 
I just like threading my squid on to the point where I get a nice bit of tentacly movement out of it. My flash is gonna dance around on top of that any size sinker that you want. I've opted to use a fairly small sinker today to get me down. There's not a lot of current. I think one of the keys is just like any form of bait, the more naturally you can get that down there, the more yeah. a nice simple rig, but very effective. Put a little flasher rig to work. Down the bottom. Something's come along and decided to play the game. Yeah, Billy Trail's starting to play the game a little bit. We've had a little squire come up and grab our pilly on the two-hook rig. It's like sharks like the flasher rig. There's our Mustang Penetrator two-hook snapper rig. Notice that I've rigged that up to my leader, and what I've done then is just added a relatively small pea sinker. It's a running sinker, it'll sit on top of this bait, and it's nice and light because I don't want this bait to plummet straight to the bottom. I want it to sit out there and drift nice and slowly through the water column. The beauty of having your two hooks is that it's really nice and easy to rig a bait and make it look nice and natural. What I often like to do is get my bottom hook, rig it through my pilly, pull it through the bait and then rig it through the eye of the pilly and then on my top hook I like to rig that through the tail so it sits nice and snugly against the top and we've got a nice rigged bait it's got our line sitting nice and flush within the bait it's also obviously head facing away from that sinker and you'll find that it actually like tends to swim through the water which makes it look nice and natural the other benefit is You've got hooks in the key parts of the fish that get attacked by predators. They often attack the head, and you'll find some predators will attack the tail. Either way, you've got your bases covered. It's a nice effective rig. I'll get it out of the water. I'm using a similar spin rod to that which I'm using to drop my flasher rig down to the bottom. It's a six to 10 kilo rod. It's got a bit of length to it. It's got quite a nice flexible tip, which lets me feel what's going on. And I've matched it up with a thread line reel 20 pound braid, and I've got a 30 pound leader. Now the technique when you're fishing with floaters is pretty well as simple as it comes. You can either throw it out a little bit behind the boat and let it sink down, or you can just pitch the pilchard a few meters behind the boat and just let that line slowly feed itself out as your pilchard drifts down through the water. And you tend to find that what that's doing as well is drifting down in exactly the same place that your burley's going. And it's a case then of simply watching if that line speeds up. Or when you think that bait's gotten down to a reasonable part in the water column, just engaging and actually letting it sit in the rod holder and let the weight of the pilly do the rest to slowly pull it down. Bites can be detected either by that line speed increasing or if you've got the reel engaged, make sure if you put it in a rod holder, got a nice loose drag, the drag will let you know when it's time to get... Just come through that burly trail and wallop that floating pilly. Not going to call it yet. The beauty of having a burly trail at the back is you never know what's going to come cruising through. So you keep that burly going and drifting your baits through. You never know what's going to show up. What do we got here? Nice guy. Okay. Lovely estuary cod. Just grabbed our penetrator rig, our two hook rig. There's the top hook there, nicely positioned in the corner of the jaw. Working that burly trail and then just slowly feeding pill pillies down on that two hook rig to the point where they got to the fish. Looks too much the part of the burly trail and these guys just suck them in. Magnificent fish, look at them, what a predator. Still all arced up. Big mouth, can take on just about anything. Ready to ambush stuff. This guy's in good nick, so I'm gonna get this hook out. Send him back to the reef.
It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.